Yeah, we're, we're kind of used to the tough draws over the years. It seems uh, that we've always had a challenge in the first and second round. But, you know, we're up for the challenge. Uh, we're excited to play. UCLA is a great team. Um, they've, they've had a lot of experience at the Final Four these last uh, three, four years. So you know, we'll ha definitely have our hands full. But I think if we go in with the attitude that if we're at our best and we can uh, you know, expect and believe that we can win the game, and, and that's certainly what we'll do. We'll make the most of that situation. Well, unlike you guys, uh, UCLA looks like they're a team that Primarily, their three top scorers score two thirds of the goals, so that's mm -hmm. that's a little different than than, than uh, what you guys provide for them. But talk a little bit about having to face uh, their three top players. Well, uh, Sydney's a very dynamic player. She's she's played at the highest level. Um, she is obviously a big part of their offense. Uh, but we've got Sid, uh, we've got Lindsay in the back, who's very fast, very talented defender. So we'll have to know where Sydney is at all times on the field, certainly. Um, and uh, we might have to play a little bit more direct out of the back just to make sure that we're not, uh, you keep the ball away from the back, you know, our goalkeeper as much as possible. We've, we've practiced some uh, clearing uh, a little bit more and, and that's something that we did at the conference tournament too. Just We like to play possession, but at the same time when you're under pressure, you just want to get the ball out. And, and so we've practiced that a little bit the last couple of days and, and, and look for our defenders to do that a little bit more against UCLA. Have you faced uh, a player in the past that you can think of that has as much uh, international experience as Sydney has? Um, probably not as much international experience, but uh, certainly over the years we've played a lot of top programs and have seen some of the best forwards in the country. Last year when we faced Stanford, they had the two best forwards in the country. So uh, the girls have some of that experience and, and hopefully we can learn from what happened to us last year. We, we played against the best team in the country and played probably our best game of the season and gave them a good run for their money. So uh, that should uh, allow us, especially coming off this weekend where we played some really good soccer in a high pressure situation, uh, that, that should give us momentum going into Thursday night's game. But I'm just going to talk about that momentum because you guys played extremely well in the Mountain West Conference mm -hmm. Tournament, uh, able to take out San Diego State on their home turf mm -hmm. and then to get back at New Mexico. you got to feel good about that. Uh, we do. Our, our players really stepped up, especially on Thursday. It was really hot, and uh, we used a lot of... Uh, uh, players to try and keep them fresh and everyone kind of stepped up did, got the job done um, and we had some real some people really step up their game Jess Ringwood played fantastic for us the best best uh, games of her uh, year so far um, Mac was solid in goal Lindsay and Carly and Jenny so uh, I just thought it was a, a good overall team performance and everybody you know kind of played their part Do you feel you, get, you have an advantage when you walk out there run out there with a team that really there's not one player that your opponent can focus on because you've been so balanced this year? Uh, we have, you know, uh, goals can come from anywhere. They can come off the set pieces. Um, you know, Lindsay as a center back has scored a lot of goals for us. Uh, UCLA has a player, one of their defenders scored uh, several goals for them as well. But, uh, you know, you never know where it's gonna come from. Uh, and that's, that's the nice thing. And that should also bring some confidence into the weekend.